We return to the story of Madame Elkin, the legendary elven conqueror of Middle-earth. In today's finale, we're going to see if the elf warrior can defeat not only the Nazgul of Mirkwood, but Sauron too. I'm listening to funk music right now. It really does suit Lord of the Rings. I'm kidding. But here we have an ambassador. She's come over from the Moraquindi over to the east. And they would like to be friends. I like that idea. They're close enough to where we could potentially do something. I would need to cross, what, three factions to get there, but it's doable. It's possible. It would be my privilege. Let's be friends. So we get to discover formalized emissaries. I like that. Let's check it out. A lot has happened. It's been 106 years since our campaign began. Madame Malkin hasn't aged a moment. He looks incredible. Look at him. All right, so over to our culture just to check things out for a moment. What do we have? Oh, we did pick up by the sword. No limit to the number of kingdom level holy wars that could be declared by any one ruler. That feels right for Lord of the Rings in my view. If you're Gondor, then you shouldn't be limited to one massive war to take out Mordor. No, that wouldn't be right. Here we go. Diplomatic range up by 200%. I can make friends. I can have a pen pal. Well, that's a good day for everyone. All right, let's have a look real quick. I'm currently working on a new manner of siege equipment. It's going to take me a little bit, but we're going to be there very soon. Imagine that, but for the elves. Elven cannons. Oh, yeah, we're getting elven cannons. But I wanted to pass enough time to stabilize our realm, to colonize what was left, and to, of course, absorb the humans who remain. They now belong to us, which is fine. They don't love me, but that's okay, too. They don't need to love me. They just need to follow me. Because together, we're able to survive. He's a skin changer. Good for him. He's a very mighty warrior. He could fight for me in the battlefields. I wouldn't be able to control every bit of land he has because it's not all elven. Not yet. One day, that may change. In fact, I've been causing that to change by using my steward, Elven Settlement. Yeah, we're moving them out, moving our people in. That's what we're doing. When it comes to my son, I could have him increase control. We also did pick up an item from Legolas. I got a claim on that. Look at what I have now. Two incredible blades. They belong to me. I'll do a better job. Unfortunately, our former rival, he's dead now. He kind of um, <clears throat> took a very, very long fall off a cliff. It wasn't me. He just chose to do that on his own. Very, very sad. But... He's got a grandson who I also hate, who I hate a lot. We're not friends. We are rivals. He's at 68 prowess. He's very strong. I was hoping to kill his grandfather, but I'll settle for him too. We'll have to go fight him eventually. Essentially, what I've been doing, I've been fighting nonstop. I've also been able to make a lot of money by doing that. Let's have a look for just a moment. I've got all these different trinkets, like steel scale armor, more prowess, more prestige. Now we're at 80 prowess. We should be one of the more powerful figures in the world. If we look down over here at Mordor. Oh, yeah. Sauron is doing fine. He's conquering, ooh, Chelkar. And he's defending too. What about up north? Here's a faction that I'm a bit more worried about. They took over Del. And unless I get some help, we might not be able to beat them. What about Galadriel? The Temptress, oh yeah, hey. Oh god, that chin is unfortunate. The glasses make me laugh so much. I love it so much. But they're over here. They've got actually a decent amount of elf power. That's really good. They're also fighting the orcs of Gundabad up north even better. What about Rohan? Rohan, they've got their king who's still alive. He's 82 and he's not close to dying yet. Good for him. He's got nine children. None are dead. Isengard, they haven't been doing too much. Look at him. He's craven, arrogant, ambitious, just kind of, I guess, maybe in some weird warped sense. So that's really where we're at right now for the major players. For everything down here, there's so much, but that doesn't really matter to us. It's not a matter of consequence. They're so far away. Our goal is to go after, of course, the Nazgul, who also evidently needs some eyewear. Okay, he needs a lot of eyewear. That's pretty good. And we're going to have a marriage, too. Not for me, not for me, but for my boy. It's going to be a grand wedding. A bloody wedding would be hilarious, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do a grand wedding. And let's hold it over in our capital. We should do that. It's a holy site of my faith. I don't really need to do too much. Here we have a chancellor, some advisor of ours, who's going to marry Fingolfin, my boy, 92 years old. All right, so what do we have right now? We've got a lot of money. I could spend more. Oh, we're going all out. We're not going to be getting married too often. Actually, hold on. I'm running low on money. Let's go down on entertainment just a little bit. 
All right, there we go. But we're going to have silver and gold. Increase opinion. Let's see, with my courtly vassals. Renown and prestige will go up. All right, we'll take that. A lot of people are going to be here. Diplomacy would be great, but I wonder, who would I even try to treaty with? We could try to befriend our neighbors over to the east. That would make it easier for me to go after the evil orcs, which is really my goal. So we could try that. That would be interesting, maybe. Oh, and my caravan master, Gimli. He's still around. Very angry. I've given him a nice weapon, too. All right, so now we wait for everyone to get over here. And now, a glorious urn to adorn my court. More prestige, more renown. Oh, we should probably have a look in just a moment. And hold on. You're plotting against my knight, Legolas, who totally looks like Legolas? I don't like that at all. All right, so we'll go down to four speed as we go back to my royal court. I've been working on a lot of inspired projects. Of course, now I'm broke. I've got a goblet. More prestige again. Let's have a look for just a moment. I'll put one down right over here. I'll have to give one away, but that's all right. Do I want prestige or do I want... Well, I want more renown. Actually, this is really bad compared over to my urn. My urn gives me renown and also even 0.1 more of a point for prestige. So I'll take that. It's a glorious urn, and I've also got my own unique throne, too. And a jester, which is pretty funny. For court grandeur, we're nearly at 10. We're at 9 right now. My renown is going up. Not quickly, but it is going up. I might need to decrease a few amenities, but we are holding on. How have I been making money? You should know how by now. I've been challenging criminals to combat. Sometimes I get over 10 people to duel, but look at how much money I gain. Look at how strong I am. That's why we're able to always make a lot of money. We'll keep on doing that. I would sit here and just duel person after person, year after year. His arm might even fall off. What's over here? I could become a witch. No, I don't need that. I've got me. I've got my wife. I've got Iru. I'm okay. Look at that wife. Oh my god. He's like, I'm ready for my elven snoo snoo. And the mom's like, yeah, get to it, son. You've got your mother's hair, by the way. All right. We're all here. We're all ready to go. And Madam Malkin, you need to avert your eyes a little bit, buddy. He's like, yeah. Go Finn Goffin. Wait, Gandalf is going to officiate the wedding? That's incredible. I love it. I wonder who gets to do that role. Like, what decides it? I have no idea. So, the day has finally come, and I couldn't be prouder of my Fingolfin, the beautiful groom. And here's the tyrant. See, he's allied, or he's underneath Sauron. Which means if I could avoid getting him involved in some way, any way possible, that would be ideal. Because, thanks to him, Sauron has a shield up north. We don't want that. I don't want that. Sauron has money, prestige, piety, all that he needs. Let's talk about important allies. I failed to impress him. That's all right. It happens. And why don't we try now to show him the venue's preparations? Come on. You've got to like those, right? He's not impressed again. I don't think we're going to be able to do anything with him. All right. Ooh, hold on. Acceptance between two cultures has gone up. They have crossed the divides even better. All right. My boy's forgotten a step in the ceremony. I'll take care of it, hopefully. I diffused it. Very good. Everything is feeling pretty nice, and we're going to move on in speed. All right, so I'm going to talk to the tyrant. I could try to intimidate him. Hey, your lucky things are going in a rather peaceful way, huh? He's not intimidated. All right, well, I tried. But here we go, and there's Gandalf. Imagine if he came to officiate your wedding and he's late, and you're like, Gandalf, you're late. And he's like, no, I wish it only arrives when he needs to. And you're like, no, Gandalf, we paid you. You should be here. Ah. Well, that happened. And now a banquet begins, which is, of course, good. But for whatever reason, it was invalidated. Oh, well. What do you mean it wasn't meant to be? Maybe that wasn't meant to happen. I don't know. Because they should be married. If I check on them, are they in fact married? They are, so things are fine. A new legacy. Let's go after... I could make weddings cheaper. That's cool. I'd like it. We don't really need bounteous loins. Not right now. I mean, well, my elf does not. Let's go for generational belligerence. I'm here to make wars cheaper. I'm here to, of course, get my titles and defeat my enemies. Ah, I could join a war. Really? Whose war? 
Who are you fighting? You're fighting... Oh, dear God. You're so far away. Why would I go down there? That would be madness. I would never do that. But look at how we're surrounded at the moment. On all sides, we are alone. We are an ocean. And we are surrounded by evil right now. Or I suppose we are the landmass and they are the ocean surrounding us. Okay, I kind of messed it up, but pretend I did not. Thank you. So we're not going to war yet. We're going to save up our money because I will need money to pay for all of my minute arms, of which I have many. I've got my elk riders. I've got my trebuchets. I might even wait for my new siege items. How cool would that be? But look at their buffed up damage. My swordsmen alone, they're going to cut through everyone. Oh, yes, indeed. They're going to shoot everyone. They're just going to have a really, really good day. I might change out my trebuchets. They're able to besiege quickly, but I'm not sure if I want to hold on to that. I want more damage. If only I could have one more county, that would be nice, but I cannot. Imagine you're having dinner, Madame Malkin kicks down your door and he's like, Have at you, villain! He's here to make some money. I mean, I've got to. Strike, parry, repost. We'll keep on doing that. It won't take too long to beat him. Maybe one more attack. And we've won. My money goes up. I'm happy about it. I've been able to serve justice. I'm kind of like the Elven Punisher. Yeah, I'm a little bit like that. So now we just need to wait for a bit. I'll be able to challenge another criminal later on. But that's how I get my money. And let's see. I can't wait to go after him. I would like to destroy him. Challenge him to a fight. Yeah, that would be great. I would gain only a bit of prestige. I would rather gain money. So I need to wait for another criminal scum to bother us. Wait, who lost the war? Oh. Okay, Galadriel. Good job. Okay, that's even better. So you've lost a bit of land. You're weakened at the moment. That could give me a great opportunity to potentially take over what should belong to us, the Woodland Realm. That would allow me to, of course, pick up what is ours. That is all ours right now. And we are stronger. It says once per lifetime, but I disagree. That's not true. I wonder, what else could I get? I could go after one area at a time through a duchy. Well, I don't want that. Oh, and Radagast, he lost his own home, so now he's over here in my court, which is cool. His learning is incredibly high, no intrigue. He's a very nice guy. He's kind of a dirty guy, but he's a very nice guy, and we like that. Yeah, I've got a few Cassus Bellies I could use, but let's go for that, I suppose. We might as well fight them right now. Let's rally. And we're off to war now, but thankfully, because we're so talented at what we do, and because my vassals all have power and general autonomy over their own lands, we're able to go in here and smash them so quickly. Have you ever seen a war move by so quickly? I'm sure you have, but for me, it's rather impressive. What I really do like about the modification is that playing tall actually does have a nice reward. We're only trying to conquer what belongs to us. Obviously, we don't want to have lands outside of our own boundaries, but it means if I develop my buildings, if I keep on making money, then I'll be able to create my super elven army. Of course, look at their numbers. It's extremely high. We've taken a lot of their lands, and pretty soon we're going to have a battle. In fact, we'll have a battle right now. I've taken command. Am I the best commander for it? I should be. Let's go. A legendary elven city has been constructed even better than before. Let's go down and fight them. Let's have a look. Oh, I need to pick up that big battle view mod because it looks so good whenever you have that. Just being able to watch the battle unfold. Yeah, maim them all. Kill them all. Look at that commander advantage. You know what? It might be time. The reason why I, I spent so much time just preparing and just developing all that we have is that I wanted to ensure that we were ready for a constant state of war. Because we had all the buildup. We got Madame Malkin to become king, but now we need to take down all of our enemies. So we beat them. They had numbers. They had no longer. Let's have a look real quick. All right, you had nothing. What about over here? Again, nothing. Here we go. Over 17,000 dead orcs. We lost 122. We have become the ultimate killing machines. My swordsmen alone, 1,624 kills. My elk riders, oh, they were horning them down. 1,200 kills. My archers, over 1,000 dead orcs, and so on and so on. We are unbelievable right now. Tarion, he's our chief warrior. Elros is very good. Fingolfin, too, 112. We've killed many. There goes Mordu. A dumb human. Oh my god, a rather large fellow. Wait, hold on. Who put you in prison? Wait, how did that happen? 
How did you even get him? He was in my court. What? <laughs> I have no idea. Could I have him back, please? All right. Well, he's back now. I have no idea what happened. I'll have to give him a rollback. Yeah, here. I'm only doing that to keep him in my court. I know there's someone better for that job, but I want him here. All right, let's go down and actually take over. Oh, nope, we don't need to do that. We're actually done fighting them. That's a really good sign. Sauron, I might be coming for you. Madame Malkin might finally be ready to go after your lands. Okay. We have our territory. Of course, it means I need to give a few lands away. That'll take a little bit. But we have another buffer. We have everything that should belong to us. Up north, a little bit weird. Did we really need that? Was that really part of our lands? I don't... Was it? Oh, okay. It is. I was wondering. Like a little buffer area that we now have. But we would need to go after the Dell lands to actually take over a bit more. Wait, hold on, hold on. We've got raiders. Uh-uh. Not today. Not on my watch. Well, I'm going to have to get over here. Orcs are fleeing. Even better. That is great news for us. So we can spend a bit of time to actually recollect ourselves. And Hold on. Let's go down and beat up some raiders. I don't know who they are. Ah, orcs again. Wrong neighborhood again. Yep, wouldn't be here if I were you. But I'm not, and it feels good to not be you. All right, so we beat them as well. Oh, that felt like a proper trained elven army. Keep in mind, compared to the other elves, the elves of our woodland realm, they were never as well equipped. They lost a lot at the Battle of the Last Alliance because of it, which is wild to me. You think you would come a bit more prepared. So Metamalkin became king. He has now fashioned all the Sylvan elves here for war. They're now ready. They're now prime warriors. He spent a very long time, decades, training them, getting them new gear, building up new buildings, making money, doing all that he needs to in order to maximize profit to help out his people. So now we might even be able to help out Elisar or Aragorn. Is it time for the big war? I think so. We have more money because our holy order wanted more land. So they gave us over 800 gold. I'll take that. The holy order expands. That works in my favor anyway. All right, so we've got our stuff together. We're going to get our forces to rally up. I don't need levies. You know, they get annoying later on because you can't really afford them. They cost a lot of money for the numbers that they have. Yeah, sure. I'll try to join you. I mean, I'm going to help out the Mora Quindy when I'm able to. I want to beat their armies before I do anything else. I would like to do that, but we might as well besiege. Oh, my God. That's a lot of soldiers. Hold on. Can I beat them all right now? Maybe. I'm not too sure. Probably. Here comes one force. We beat them quickly. I mean, look at that. That was a quick and very easy one. They didn't even really have a lot of great combatants. Okay, over 7,000 coming my way. They want to fight me. I've already captured the area. Look at that. How quickly we are destroying them. Our advantage, 98. Damage increase, 92%. I mean, they're in our woods. How could we lose? It would be strange if we did lose. So now you're about to see the most war waged ever before that I've done. I mean, why would I stay stationary? I've got all the power in the world. Ooh, hold on. That one's a little bit tougher. We could wait here. They'll come to us. I want my allies to come join us too. That would be nice. Here they come. A map. Okay. That idiot belongs in my dungeon. Don't draw maps, okay, you fool? Don't do that. You don't need to do that. He's like, but you paid me. No, I didn't pay you. Look at how many different warriors that they have. Morgul Whites? Over 500 damage? Oh my god, that toughness too. Thankfully, we were able to beat them, but dear god. That could have been bad. That was only a battle. Here we go. Over 18,000 dead. You were captured, which means you were killed right away. Goodbye, Berserker. All right. Well, there it is. We took out a lot of their chief warriors. We didn't lose anyone, did we? Let's see. My warriors killed nearly 2,000. My archers over 1,500. My swords went over 1,300. All the levies are gone. We get to chase after their army now and hopefully end it all. Does that truly mean that we get to go after Sauron? Because if so, I'm so happy. I was wondering if I could pull that off. I thought maybe I would have to lessen my goals because I wouldn't be able to do that. But now, because of all of my long-term building, because we've been here for decades building up our lands, we've got a great shot to win whatever we want. I mean, like there, I allowed a major battle to happen. We ate them. 
Oh man, we're like a hungry, hungry hippo of murder. They're dead again. I mean, they didn't have a lot there, but here, over 12,000. I really wish I had like a kill stat line for all the many casualties we've inflicted. Their warriors are being savaged. Did we lose any? No, we didn't. We're perfect. Madame Malkin trained the perfect army. It's a lot like my old Third Age Total War campaign now. That should look familiar to those of you who have seen that back in the day. So what did we gain? A lot more territory. I'll have to delegate it. I've got too much under my thumb right now. I'm able to create a new kingdom. I'll do that. Done. I'm able to take over a title. I'll do that too. Also done. And I've got too much at the moment. I wish I could hold on to all of it, but I can. I could feudalize a few areas. Well, that's what it's telling me. I can't actually do that, it seems like, but that's okay. I'll give away what we have and we'll do something else. We could go after really anyone else. I could help out the Mora Quindi over to the east. That would be nice to do. I would like to honor my alliance. I feel like I should. And we could keep on moving down until finally we help out Gondor and we fight Sauron. Beating him would be awesome, though. I wonder where the one ring is at. Like, do we know? Can we find that out? One ring. I don't know how to find that. There's got to be like some type of like artifact seeker. I can't remember if that was a mod or what. I'll have to have a look around because I'm very, very curious. I mean, I could go over here to artifacts and just look around. Eventually, I would find someone, right? I would imagine. Oh, that would be a lot of people to look through, though. All right. What if I said, do we have a golem? Do we? Oh, well, I'll have to look around. I have no idea at the moment. Time for a little elven stroll, a battle stroll, a new crown. I don't actually need that. I'll give it to another one of my vassals. But for now, let's move down to their capital. They're already losing battles. Oh, that's a lot of soldiers. Dear God. Yeah, there's a lot over here, but don't mind me. I'm just going to take over everything from behind. Madam Malkin, the behind taker. It's over. We did it quickly. Well, that feels pretty good. I had to delegate my lands and now we're happier for it. I try to keep everyone all together where I'm able to. So it's not too messy. It's gotten a bit messier since, but that's all right. I don't get to attack you. Not yet. What about Gundabad? No, they need a break too. Mordor, they're fighting no one at the moment. That means we get to have a moment of peace to rebuild everything, really. I mean, if I have a look around, we've got a Baron of mine. I should probably give you a different title. You're pretty talented at what you do. What now? You need a hero. Here's my poet. Could you tell me who your favorite hero is? Well, that would be me. That's true. You should know better. It's going to be me. It's going to be me. Look who's come to play. 70 prowess. The grandchild of my arch enemy who I didn't get to kill, which makes me mad, but sometimes we don't get what we want in life. I'll strike once, then again. Where's my blade dance? I need a blade dance. I'm not going to throw silver at you. What a weird thing. And I've won. I beat him. You're not your grandfather, but I did beat you. That feels pretty good. Give me money next time, you idiot. I want my money. Perfect. He's angry, as he should be. Someone is trying to kill one of my knights. Don't do that. And I want gold. I want more gold. You'll give me more gold. Let's go again. I'll keep on attacking. Here we go. Attack first, attack hard. On guard! Which is what a elf says. All right. I'm going to do some more cutting. Yep, it's a butchery. And work is on the menu today. All right, let's see. What else do I want to do here? Another victory. All right, then. That feels pretty good. That gives me more money. Are we ready for another war? We might be. We could be. Of course, I don't want to conquer every location, but... Ooh, I could actually get Dol Guldur. Before we get that, though, why not pick up what's over to the east? I think what I might do in the future for lands I don't want, might give it to someone I like, then let them go. I'll let them become free. If not now, then later. Largely because I don't really want all of that. Of course, we could go after Dol Guldur, get it out of the way. You know what? Let's get it out of the way because it'll take me time to convert what's here. And I want to get that before anyone else does. I mean, could they? Maybe. I don't really know. Ooh, hello. The Wildman army. They've got how many soldiers? Not too many, but 
They're probably... Wait, you've got a title. Okay. So you're over here somewhere. Gotcha. Anyway, it's time. Let's get our armies together. We're going to war. And I'm not going to play a board game with you, Baraz. No, we're not friends. He's like, oh, but come on. No, we're not doing that. I've called upon my holy order. We've got our army together. I'll take command again. We're going to hunt down a few of their smaller armies where possible. I would like to lure them over into my territory. If they want to besiege, so be it. But we want to fight in favorable terrain. They have the numbers. They could overwhelm me. That's why I've got to be careful. So we'll try that out. Like here's a battle, a minor one. Big battle view. It looks like they were easily defeated. Our poor allies. Let's move in. I mean, we do have some woodsmen who own the land that's currently being fought over. That was a quick and very easy battle. They would need over 10 to 20,000 orcs to even challenge us, which that ratio does feel right. At least I believe so. What do you think? Whenever I think of like some elven army, I'm thinking that for like every one elf, they would be able to kill 10 orcs or 20 orcs or something like that. We chewed them up. No Nazgul yet. See, right now we're only fighting the men. The men are easy, but they do add up, so that's why we want them gone now. Here's another major army. Oh, they're attacking one of our areas. I'll have to move over here. Unfortunately, I don't really want to, but thankfully I've got my Holy Order. That should help out. What do they have? Well, let's have a look. They've got Wardens of the Council. Heavy infantry, all of them. They counter spearmen and monsters too. Ah, crap. They took it over quickly. Okay, so we'll want to play a defensive battle and stay over to the east. I mean, these lands, again, they're not mighty, not yet. It will take time to actually turn them into prosperous locations. Let's wait here. I need my allies to move in. And that should hopefully do it, I think. Here they come. 23,000 enemies. A big battle view. And their damage is increased. Advantage in enemy's favor will move down to one speed. The Morgul Whites, I wonder how many they get to kill. I don't really know. We've got a lot of champions. Oh, oh my god. Look at their effectiveness. What about mine? Oh, we don't have a proper commander, that's why. Ugh, yuck. No wonder. Otherwise, we would have a much easier time. Our own casualties are very minimal, though. That's nice to see. I like that. Otherwise, I would be a bit more concerned. Don't forget, we never take prisoners, nor do they. They'll just end up eating them, killing them right away. All right, so we did beat them. That's awesome news. We're now pursuing. They are retreating. Look at how many levies are around. Reinforcements are also here. But we did beat them. Nice. I wish you didn't take command. We lost over 900. They lost over 7,500. We didn't take out too many of their commanders. Let's go down and fight again. Man, if you've got this many soldiers and you only have so much land, that lets me know how terrifying the other factions will be. Oh, and I had one of my council members work on releasing a bit of Dejour land that should belong to us from our neighbor, the Tyrant. It worked out. Thank you. So now we've got over here, Edricksborg. I'll have to give it to someone later. Right now, I'm busy focusing on a war. And I would like to catch them somewhere. Let's move to horse speed for right now. That should be sufficient. It's blindingly white. All right, let's go on down over to the east. They caught one of our allies again. I wish they would stop doing that. Come on. I want to say hello. There we go. And put a shirt on. No shirt, no life. Holy crap. I love to watch it. My archers. Man, I really do wish I had a kill counter. Because it would be numbering, what, to over 50,000 by now? Something like that. The sheer amount we've killed. All right, let's have a look at their numbers. They still have over 20,000. That's insane to me. Holy crap. I could call upon the Mora Quendi. No, not right now. They need to stay strong. They need to do something else. They're going to rally back together, then come back into our territory. So we might as well take some land ourselves, which is what we're going to do at five speed. And what's over here? You want to be my friend? You're a vassal. Eh, sure. Let's be a buddy. We'll be buddies. All right to you. I'm now a statesman, kind of. A states elf. 
Ooh, here they come. I was hoping to take over that area so it would be defensive. Wait, where are you moving, manling? Stay here. We've only got a few days left. Please don't make it here in time. Ah, blast. Okay. It doesn't matter, though. See, another thing. We deal so much damage, it shocks all of them. Imagine they walk in, then they're hit by, like, 5,000 arrows immediately. Yeah, you might have the numbers, but you're going to be shocked. We're taking out their most effectual troops right away. And we took over that area, too. So we're going to wait here for just a moment. I might even move back over into our territory later to replenish our numbers. All right, our damage increased by 84%. We're beating another small force. They've got plenty more on the way. I can't remember the last time I've played Crusader Kings where I've been able to see such large armies fight. I think it was back in one of my maybe Rome or Byzantine games. I wonder if there's like a good proper Byzantine mod to simulate their manner of government. That would be cool. But let's quickly just eat through all of these. Thankfully, it looks like we're doing a great job and we're going to be able to do just what I want to do. All right, let's head over here. They've lost a lot. We want them to be weakened. And it looks like we've won. I would like to beat them in one more battle, but I'll settle for that little force. Okay. It's over. Your lands now belong to me. So we've got Dol Goldor. I'll have to delegate these lands to other people. I'm at 20 out of five that I'm able to hold on to. So that's a problem. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Cool. I don't have to convert what's down here. Oh, man. That's so good. I kind of wish I could give it to my son. So what do we get? Dol Goldor proper. Nice. We could even upgrade it. Yeah. I would need some more money. But I could do that. Oh, that's so cool, man. Let's have a look around. They built up a lot. I mean... They need more individual buildings, but they've got a lot of settlements down here, so it's fairly well developed in that regard. Of course, we would need to build up a lot more, and all of you go home. Dol Goldor is now a lot weaker. Oh, heck yeah. The shadow is being expelled. Let's have a look. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have... Oh, my God. Did I do it? <gasps> I think I did it. Am I... Hold on, hold on. Not yet? Okay. So I need that over in Amon Lank. Lank? <laughs> Lank would be pretty funny. I don't know how to say these words, man. So let's see. That's what I need. Will it take a little, like a little moment for it to actually change up, or do I need to do something else? It's an interesting building too. Yeah, let me have a look around real quick. Hall of Lords. We need more money. Legendary Elven City. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's obvious. So I need to save up my money, which won't take too long. I could wait for like a decade or two, get that money by dueling. Then we could upgrade what's here. I'll read these once we have the money to actually upgrade to them. But for now, I need to delegate. In a weird way, I've really enjoyed allowing my kingdom to grow on its own. It reminds me playing older games like Age of Empires or anything where I could build walls. For whatever reason, I would build like mega towns. I might have won the map, but I would still just build on. I really enjoy that aspect of any game. Man, I need to get back to doing that. Makes me want to play Dwarf Fortress and also RimWorld. Which, speaking of, does have a Lord of the Rings modification, so that could be fun too. But anyway, back to our matter at hand. The year, 3139, the Third Age. We can see that the Nazgul, they're gone now. I don't know where he went off to. Let me check for just a moment. We'll go over what has changed up. Oh, he's wandering. He's a hobo now. A hobo ghoul. Well, have fun down there. Far, far away from me. That's great news. And we've got another vassal, Toriel. Yeah, she's committed many crimes, but I gave her a very hard job. She's got to contend with a very poor area. It'll take time for it to be built up. She's working on it right now, and she's very far from me, on the other side of my kingdom, so I'll allow her to stew over there. That's fine. That'll be okay. What happened to your parent anyway? Doesn't matter. Let's go back down over to her capital, Amon Lunk. We now have it. I built up one, then she built up our final tier for it. That surprised me, but that's really cool too. So now we have everything that we need to restore our realm. If we have a look at the Empire realm view, then there we are. We have all that we need. 
Also, Radagast, he's now my chancellor, my court physician, and my antiquarian. It's pretty funny to have him here, but look at that learning. He's incredible. I wonder, could I convert him? That would be pretty funny. Ah, I can't do it. Well, we also have another incredible Istari vassal. Let me show you. There he is. I gave some lands down to Gandalf. If we have a bunch of human towns, I can't give them to elves. Now, we know that he's a starry, but I was able to give these towns to him. So now, Gandalf has power in our realm. That's going to work out. He'll always be loyal. He's very mighty. His learning is incredible. I mean, imagine if he led a faction. All the work he did behind the scenes to make sure the quest worked out. Gandalf is incredible. So I'm glad he's here. We've got a few other people, too. Another vassal of mine. I gave her many lands, too. Over to the east, we've got someone, a child of Rodbjorn, our old counselor who unfortunately was murdered but his skin changer line continues on so good for her we've got thala who's got his own lands we've got a lot of people and largely they're doing pretty well i made sure to keep things pretty neat and if we have a look at our realm law absolute crown authority <laughs> no one's voting here no oh my own son had a child amarian 21 years old now she's not going to be able to fight for me yet but in time She's very talented at fighting, a base 10 prowess, but I also gave her a great spear, a spear that I had crafted a long time ago. So she's gonna be able to do that. I'll probably give her gold in time, that way she's able to repair it. And I've just been building up my towns. I've been dueling people, like I said before, and also our holy orders, they keep on wanting to expand. That's a really good thing too. Look at how big they are. Because of that, they give me like over 1,000 gold per expansion. And as long as it's not like in a super wealthy place, I've given them two of my own. But if they just want some random location over to the west where it's very poor, that's okay. I don't mind any of that. But now it's time we get to restore the Greenwood. I will say the writers for the mod have done a great job. If it really feels like you've pulled out a thesaurus and your writing doesn't flow very well, I'm going to be able to tell it doesn't feel proper. It doesn't flow well. The reading part of it is not a pleasure, but here I've really enjoyed reading out what they've written. I think it's very well done. It harkens back to the idea of a Lord of the Rings game on its own merits, which is really cool. But anyway, here we go. The High Kingdom of Eren Lasgalen. For generations, the elves of the Greenwood slowly retreated, gathering in a northern third of the forest, abandoning their previous capitals. The Great Kingdom of Orifer shrank, and the encroachments of men and the shadow alike transformed the forest. The southern forest became a dark and twisted place, unfriendly and dangerous. But after a long and grueling campaign, the elves have finally reclaimed the southern forest, declared the restoration of the former kingdom of Greenwood the Great, and set about making the Great Woods a place of light and beauty once again. So we have done that, and we're bigger than we were. That's great news for us. We don't have to worry about integrating titles at all. I could resettle a few more areas. See, over here is where we have all the elves. We're kind of all over. Men they're still around i could get rid of more of them but i've chosen not to not yet i'll probably do so in realms where we have more elves in charge than anything else okay for a dynasty legacy we're going to pick up inherited tactics minute arms counter efficiency up by 15 percent advantage up by five nice work okay i probably won't get private army i would if i had like some type of unique creature or regiment that i could use but house guard no they wouldn't be very effective so what do we do now I think we'll probably go after some great powers. I would like to eventually help out Gondor. The battle of the truly final alliance. We'll call it that. Maybe it's not so catchy as the last alliance, but maybe we could rebuild that, then go after Mordor and hopefully break them apart. He's very powerful. I do have neighbors I need to beat up to the west and over to the east. I could make contact with the Mora Quindi by just moving through. I wouldn't want to actually maintain control of everything. What I would do, I'd probably conquer, then maybe give it to someone who I could trust, then make them independent. That way they could rule over, I could help out, I would have great allies, but I wouldn't need to rule over lands that I do not want. Yeah, here's my culture. We're all over. The woodmen, they're around too. Our faith. Oh yeah, it's prominent. It's very strong. I don't have to worry too much. And a scroll of Isildur. I'll give it to someone. Well, very cool. Yeah, she went out for an artifact. She went out on a quest. All right, let's read that real quick. Long buried deep in the archives of Minas Tirith, this scroll was written by Isildur, 
Look at that, all that information. Who wished to leave an account of his finding of the One Ring in Gondor before he left with it, bound for the road to Arnor, and his eventual death at the disaster of the Gladden Fields. Wow. There it is. It is done. It is beautiful. There are a few things we could do right now. We could go to war with the old tyrant, 84 years old. His health is currently poor, but he's still around. He's infirm. I've got someone whose claims I could press. Edgar. Oh, yes. We could do that for him. We could give him an entire kingdom. I like the idea. That would be a great buffer for us. In fact, we'll do it right now. Let's have a look at him once we win. You'll learn about his family in just a little while. But for now, we need to go out to war. So let's rally up our numbers. We'll move at four speed. I'm going to bring out my holy order. Yeah, let me grab that real quick. Right over here. Oh, they're not a hostile faith. Okay, good to know. I thought maybe they would be, but I was wrong about that. That's okay, though. I would like to take command. Oh, by the way, check out what I have now. <laughs> Elven cannons. That's right. I've got them. I'll take command. Don't worry about it. They want to fight me? Let them come fight me. We've got 150 cannons all lined up. I was waiting to do that. Why? Because it's silly. And two, listen, we're, we've been around for a long time. We discovered gunpowder and we said, you know what? Screw you, Mordor. Screw your walls. Screw your gates. We're building cannons. All right. Bows are great, but what about futuristic bows that's our cannons all right so that's what we're doing we beat them in a battle it didn't take too long that was a slaughter again our archers yeah i did recruit more archers why because they're devastating i don't need a machine gun i've got my archers we're gonna be okay we caught many of them i'm gonna hold on to them until the war is over or maybe i recruit them i would love to give them all to dell that would be nice Ooh, hello. I can't wait for the freaking dwarves, man. Then I get to say dwarves, not dwarfs. Yeah, I'll worry about that in just a little while. For now, let's focus on our war. I don't need my gardens tended to anymore. And hold on, who's besieging what in my lands? Excuse me, 30,000 men? That's a lot of men. Okay, we're going to have to go down. We're going to have to go down, not to Goblin Town. No, we'll do that later. We'll probably want to rebuild a little bit. Maybe I'll need a few mercenaries or something. Are my allies even here? I have no idea. I should probably call... Wait, do I have anyone I could even call? No, not really. It's me. It's me here. That's pretty much it. All right. They want to fight very well. I could go after them. It would be defensive because we took over that area. Let's go do it right now. Oh my god. Look at how many soldiers nearly 50,000 2,000 for reinforcements I've got reinforcements too but they need to get here I've got my royal elk riders all right we've got greenwood archers but they're being countered so I'll have to get rid of so many I've never fought such a large battle in a fantasy modification our knights are more effective that's good they have 79 I've got 26 but not 69 or that would have been nice all right let's hold on and wait We've got more allies here. 82 knights. Get them. Crush them. Oh, yeah. I'm taking you to Elven Suplex City. <laughs> ah, devastation. Okay. They are retreating. Yeah, try to get away. Let's have a look at that. I lost 690. They lost a lot more. My elves killed nearly 10,000. See, my goal was to replicate what I did in Third Age Total War many years ago. If you've played that, then it has... A bit of an issue with the overall engine mechanics for archery, where <laughs> if you're higher on a hill or mountain, you get to shoot much, much further. It's pretty funny, which means you could like shoot from almost the other side of the map, depending on where you're at. And I would do that to completely annihilate my enemies. And once again, over a decade later, I'm doing that again. All right. Gandalf killed over 200. Tarion killed over 200. Elros, 197. What's cool is that we know so many of our characters. It's not like... These are characters who we just met. Very few people have died. Oh, there's a new tyrant. When it comes to actual named characters, I mean. All right, we don't have to worry about them. Page down to bring it back from big battle view to a normal view. Another slaughter. You know what? That's what we're gonna do today. If you want to witness slaughter in our finale, here it is. All right, we'll go after whatever we need to. We'll just conquer a few areas like that. I've got to retake these lands for, of course, the men who are nearby. 
We need a better neighbor. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold on. Can I move away in time? Oh, my allies are caught. Okay, I've got to move in. I have no choice but to move in at the moment. All right, page up to go back to big battle view. So now we're back here. Okay, provided no one on our side dies, because the loss of anything that we have is a major problem. And at least if you're watching on mobile or whatever, having a big battle view, I'm sure that's a lot easier to see. All right, we beat them again. Let's have a look at that. Wait. Oh, Versh. He was trying to murder me. Okay, well, yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds like Versh. Over 11,000 killed in that battle. We captured so many. Oh my god. They're not going to be able to do too much. You know, Sauron, what he wanted to do, he wanted to launch multiple attacks across multiple fronts. That way, his enemies could not be united. I'm going to take out his allies one at a time until it's all over for them. Okay, we're at 74%. We're not done yet. We're going to keep on. Oh, let's move back if we can. Can we do that? One person got away. That's okay. I'll move down to four speed. We need to be careful. Oh, nope. Allies are under attack. Yeah, they can never really catch up, it seems like. Levies are gone. That was a bit more deadly than it needed to be, I think. Okay, my archers did fine. We lost a lot more. We'll need to rest up. Their crossbows... Oh, yeah. They got a lot more kills. And we didn't lose any knights. Our knights killed over 4,200. Again, they were crushed. Oh, if I had my kill counter right now, it would be awesome. We've won over a year of fighting. We did it. Okay. Do I need to hold on to what we have here? Not really, but let's have a look at King Egil. Do I have that pronunciation correct? Am I close? I try to get close. All right. Who's raiding? Excuse me? In my land? Oh, no, no, no. You've mistaken me for an orc. <laughs> I'm not weak and sad. No, no, no. The forces of Madame Malkin, they've come here to crush you. Ransom. Yeah, I'm a nice elf, probably. I might be. I don't know. When I feel like it. Compassionate. I'm not compassionate. What do you mean? All right, let's go back real quick. So we beat them. I love actually attacking their raiding forces because that weakens my enemies for a future war. Provided I don't allow them to recuperate. All right, let's have a look for just a moment. We've got a new kingdom. He's feeling fine. He's 78. Okay. Numenorean blood. Do I have that word right? I have no idea. Eventually, as I play more and more and all of you correct me, I'll do a better job at being able to pronounce these words. All right. Let's see. Ego. 78 years old. And let's have a look at his grandfather. Bane. That's right. They're back in charge. I've been trying to hunt down a few notable characters where I'm able to. That way, we're just able to bring them back. I could let them go, or for now, they could survive under my protection. I was going to set them free right away, but for now, that might be sufficient. I could demand a hostage. That's true. It wouldn't kill me, no. He wouldn't mind. I could educate her. I've got great teachers. You know what? Let's do that. I think I will do that. And once you're over here, Juta... Then I'll have you educated, so... You're very close. I mean, you're very safe. You're going to be okay. You've got your new home. All right, so I get to pick out whatever I want. You've got that blood again. Let's have you educated. I could convert you. You know what? <clears throat> I believe I shall. All right, Radagast. Or Gandalf, you're in charge, all right? You'll go down there now. It's a little bit further away, but you should hopefully be all right. Now, there's a new leader. Your father died of old age, 85 years old. Mordor still not attacking anyone at the moment. I can't fight you for just a little bit of time. I need to find maybe a few people who could join us, who could, I, or I could then use them to press claims over in the West to break apart Gundabad. Because again, we're trying to build up buffers. That way, our enemies can no longer reach the woods. It's a strategic maneuver. Unfortunately, any war to the west would have to be waged on our own. There are no claimants for any major title. That's all right. I'll get you, Versh. The Ashmog family will one day be broken apart. Man, they're powerful. For now, though, let's pick up a client state over to the east. 
They'll belong to me. They'll need to pay me 20% of their gold income. And if my allies want to pick them apart, let them do so. That way, the Moraquindi will not be in danger from that kingdom alone. I thought that would be a very good idea. So now we get our forces together. We march back out to war at a very high speed because we don't need to worry about really waiting here. All right, there we go. A future child of Dell under our control. Another birthday surprise. I'll take a small one. I'll give it away. It's garbage. Well, thank you for your very nice garbage. I appreciate you. All right, so we took over one area. And already we have many more allies. We're going to do things a little bit differently. We're all about statescraft here. Oh, God, over 10,000. Yeah, numbers at the point in the game that we're at right now, they're incredible. I wonder if I would have an issue if I played evil where the quality of good would be so high if I waited too long that I would be in trouble. I do wonder. Because we were getting to the point in our current campaign here where I really needed to focus on my quality more because our enemies were also very powerful. I was having a hard time winning against enemies who were numerically superior to me in every regard. But now, we've got the most elite army in all of the Middle Earth. No one is able to challenge us. That's why right now you're watching this all unfold. And I get a lot of experience. I've got like some item that gives me, I believe, 30% more martial lifestyle experience. Oh, I didn't mean to actually go there, but that was only a bit of attrition. That'll be okay. We've already won the war. And we have a new client state. Yeah, originally I was going to keep it to my borders, but then I thought about Madame Malkin. Would he do that? If you think about his campaign where he came from way over here and he just waged war everywhere. I remember fighting the Sylvan Elves. That was brutal. That was really brutal. All right, so we're not there yet. You're raiding Gondor. There's a truce, right? Yeah, for just over a year. So maybe in time we'll be able to join in. And I'm not going to bother the Moraquindi. I'm going to let them do whatever they want to. I can't fight you for a while yet. That's really unfortunate. I was hoping to do so two years until we're able to attack them. So instead, we could go over to the West. A great empire war. We've got oh, one encampment. Wow, what a great claim. Radagast, I do want you to have your home back. He's like, give me back my hovel. I'll try my best, all right? What about a kingdom? The Veil. Then we would border more of our allies. Ah, yes, Galadriel would love to have me as a neighbor. I don't blame her. I've got my one ally. They'll have quite a few allies. Oh, dear God. Scudsparg, the ill-tempered. 51 prowess. They have a lot of powerful, powerful orcs over here. They're all cannibals, yep. Meats on the menu every day over there. All right. Let's get ready for a barbecue. I'm here to roast a bit of orc. So now we're going after the orcs of Gundabad. I guess we truly did have our anime training arc. It took me a long time. I had to go through a lot of Shonen Jump adventures, but I finally got here. Did we have a tournament arc? I can't remember. I have no idea. But either way, we are so powerful now. 89 prowess. We only grow in power. We had some type of event. It was where... Oh, hold on. War trolls. Holy crap, they've got monsters. Where's my monster? I want a monster. Anyway... We had to lose weight. I don't know why we were gaining weight. We didn't go to any feast, but I was cutting down some trees. And so we got that strong trait, which was very nice to have. Holy crap. I'm curious about the trolls. We're able to win. I'm not worried about that part, but I think by far they've had the mightiest warriors. I've been collecting mine for a long time. We know all about them. I'm always trying to recruit new warriors to make sure that we're always at the very top. So we beat them, but hold on. I need to move to another area in just a moment. Where am I moving to? Well, I'm trying to make it over to their capital, but it looks like there's another battle happening down south, which means unfortunately I'll have to go down there. We'll move at three speed. All right, about this trolls, I lost over 100. They lost over 21,000. Oh my God. Oh my god, Gandalf. Holy crap. He's like, I don't care. Meet my staff and sword. I will beat you every day, young man. Young orc. Alright, so we'll go down. We'll go beat them up. They're moving into my territory. I don't like that. Wait, who's done over here? Wait, Rohan, are you fighting? Oh, okay. 
I like that. You've got some attackers. Wait, hold on. No, I don't like that. I changed my mind. You two should not be fighting. Oh, well, that's really a shame. I'm not going to intervene. That's none of my business. All right. It's really not. I mean, I'm a bit biased towards our own people, but. Oh, hold on. Another battle. Dear God. No trolls right now. We beat them quickly. I mean, if you blink, they're dead. They're all gone. I actually need to look at some manner of siege in a moment. I'm curious about our elven cannons. I'm really curious about them. Well, we'll have to save that for a future war because we've already won as it currently stands. I wonder how many we've killed. I mean, remember, they don't get captured. Wait, hold on. <gasps> you have an elf on your side. The great traitor. Who are you? Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I feel like I should have you murdered. Or executed, rather. You can't do that. Not here. All right. That war is over. That belongs to me now, so give up. All right? It's all over for you. I really don't want all these lands, so that might be the case where I do give it to someone else. Then again, we do have our empire, so I could give it to a man. Then they could just be a king underneath me. Holy crap, that's so much territory. Oh. All right. <laughs> it feels so good to conquer so much. We're finally able to do so much that we've been wanting to do. All right, a lot of my gold here was spent on upgrading my buildings. I need to build up a kingdom. I'm not going to worry about the duchy titles. Not right now. I'll need to find a good human to take over. I don't know who that might be. I'll have to hunt around for a little bit. I spend a lot of time here, everyone. I really do. I'm always looking around. I'm always trying to find new people. I'm always inviting new courtiers over to my court. Claimants, knights, whatever I can. There's our new king over to the west. King Gimli the Apostate. What a title for him. So now he's got his own title. We don't have a mind for him. Not yet. That'll come soon. And I would like to again go to war. We're trying to build upon our enemies. But hold on. Before we do that. Where is it at? Ah, here we go. Gladriel. She didn't beat Rohan. And she wants to become a follower of mine. I'll take it. I'll take it right now. Another duchy title. I thought I made that one. Well... I don't need it right now. So she's going to join me. That's a very good thing to have happen. All right. Very good. And we're going to go after another enemy to the east. Yeah, here we go. A great empire war. No. Who's got the claims? Ah, here we go. An old princess. But we're going to have another kingdom to help out the Moraquindi. So that's why we're doing that. Because I want them to have aid. I could probably afford a few more forces. I'm choosing to not pay for them right now. They do cost a lot of money. Also, they're only so good because of my buildings I've been working on. Holy crap, that was quick. Oh, it was only a small army. Okay, well, I don't really care about that. Let's get closer to their capital. Look at how many soldiers our new followers have, our new vassals have. I thought that would be a good idea. Madam Malkin, he's not going to honor all of the old ways. No, he's not going to do that. Oh, Gimli, you speak Sindarin. I'm trying to picture that. Oh, it would be very gruff. We'll employ every strategy. All of them, all together, all at once. All right, let's take over that area. I've got his ring. I'll probably give it to Gimli or someone else. Let's go back to go beat up their major army. They're going after a few of our friends. So I want to go beat them in our territory. Yeah, that's our territory. I had to be sure. 59 advantage for me. Ooh, 39,000, 40,000 nearby. Our damage is so high. I'm trying to picture every battle just being a battle with Thermopylae every single time, except we don't get overwhelmed. We don't get ambushed. We just systematically slaughter every single enemy. That's what we're doing right now. Their commander is actually not too bad. She's pretty good. A realm master. What a title. They've got cataphracts, vanguards, housecarls, vineyard bowmen, crossbowmen, court paladins. I mean, they've got everything. But it doesn't really matter. Our knights, over 300% more effective, 120 total. We've got a lot more than they do. And that's why we win. We also have numbers. It took a long time. Oh, holy crap. 
Another huge army. Okay, hold on, hold on. They're back in it, but we beat them. You want who to join me? 32 for prowess. Yeah, sure. Come on down. You want to fight for me, kiddo? Come on down. All right, we beat them again. Look at that. More forces on the way. Oh, my God. The sheer scale of people dying in war. It cannot be matched. All right, here's a battle, not a slaughter, unfortunately. Oh, their bowmen did a great job. All right. We killed over 3,000. They got over 1,700. Good for them. Sure, they outnumber us, but for humans, I mean, come on. It's pretty good. Another orc, 32. Oh, you've got their culture? That's pretty funny. <laughs> An orc drinking wine. Pinky out. Okay. We've defeated, what, how many thousands of enemies? Now, here was a slaughter. 23 remaining. Oh, they've got some cannons, too. Well, mine are better. Mine are much better. All right. We'll continue to push into their lands right now. They'll come back eventually, or maybe we could end our war before they get back. I mean, we're quickly just cutting through all of their filth. Oh, yeah, they're going back after that area. Let me try to make it over there if I can. I should be able to do that. Come on, allies. Come join me. Ah, that's all right. We've got it, I think. Yeah, we've got it. And it's over again. All right, we'll take that over. We'll keep on attacking. Let's go after reinforcing armies who are jumping in. They've got halberdiers, armored footmen. Their commander lost nearly immediately. I mean, the shock of fighting our army is too much. We've got the numbers. We've got the damage output. Shock and awe every day. That's what we do here. All right, we're at 84%. They're probably retaking a few areas, but I'm not too fussed about it. Let's quickly just besiege. Oh, hold on. Let's have a look at my siege weapons. We've got everything. Every siege weapon possible. We've got it here. Which means taking over any area. It's a very brief matter. I could even pick up more if I wanted to move even faster. If I could take every area instantaneously, that would be awesome. That would be really good. The war is over. It was a quick one. Don't worry. We're going to get to Mordor eventually. Okay. Whoa, hold on. They broke apart. Nice. Okay. What about the more Quindy? Another protectorate. Nice. So now we've got the more Quindy. We are building a true last alliance or the final alliance. Yeah, there we go. I'll need to work on a better title, but he's here. He's going to be able to help us out. We could ally. Eh, take my protectorate. You're going to be okay. All of you are under my wing of protection. You're going to be fine. So, Gondor, you're not fighting Mordor, not yet. Aragorn, you're getting very, very old. Invinyatar. Ah, a Quinya name. I gotcha. The Renewer. Very literal name at that. All right, so I could even go after you, or I could make you a client state. That would be cool. Yeah, that could be really cool. Oh, do they need to colonize? Well, that won't be up to me. I thought maybe they would be done by now. All right, if I took you over... That would be sweet. That would be another buffer. Would it be easy? Well, we could also become my protectorate. You're no longer aligned with evil. So we've got another person under my wing. Even better. All right. Where do we go from here? The Ritter Mark? No. What about you? Yeah, they've got darkness over there. A holy war for Gorgoroth. Do I want their lands? Not really. I might wait for a bit to see what Gondor will do. Yeah, I could break things off. I could do that. Then I could take over their lands, but I really don't want to. Like I said before, I might even set a few kingdoms free in the future. But for now, I think what we have is pretty good. We've got a new queen. She's pretty old, but she's got children. Hey, look. Gimli, I found a friend for you. No, that's only a dwarf in a different sense. But the more Quindy, they've got over 5,900 soldiers. Nice. Well, they've got allies, but that might be internal. How do I get these over here? I want these. These monsters. I have no idea how they get those. I'll have to have a look at that. Can I get any type of like creature like that? I have no idea. Maybe I can and I've overlooked it. Is it time for us to leave? Uh, no. <laughs> it's not. My job is not yet done. Oh, we could finish off the orcs. That would be nice to do, I think. Yeah. Wait. They get to keep Gundabad? Lame. All right. 
I think after we win here, what I'll do, I'll go back around and I'll take out a few more minor enemies, really. That's probably what I'll do. Wait, we won already? Oh, okay. I essentially had to sneeze at them and they all fell. So I'll give these lands away probably to someone else, maybe another human. I'm not going to make Gimli a double king. I don't know who's going to get it yet, but someone, maybe a Bjorning. Yeah, we could do that. Someone from that line. If there's any remaining, maybe there's not. I don't know, but I can't hold on to what's here. Oh, he died. Oh, right. I caught him. <laughs> Take that, Ashmog. So now we only have one more area to go after right over here. I've got to eradicate it for sure. Yeah. One more war to go. I know I've got too many lands under my current command, but I want to end my war. I can't believe that happened so quickly. Hello, queen. What now? Huh. Trying to learn my language. Good job. You did a good job. All right. So we beat him there. He was executed. He lost how many? Oh, he lost plenty. Oh, nice. All right. Let's go back up. You want to fight? Sure. You don't have a lot of land. I'm trying to read a book. Very hard for me to do. Killing orcs? Easy. Reading? Very hard, evidently. Gained a rival. Yeah, sure. I'll be a rival. 43 prowess. You're not your family. You're not your father, nor your great-grandfather. All right. Let's take over what's left. Then they're done for. That's it. Yeah. I've got his ring, too. It's all mine. We did it. The evil is cleansed. That feels really good. I don't like the border gore, and I know many people don't. I don't really mind it too much. I don't love it, but it's there. But again, I don't want to cause too many problems. I could make them a vassal in the future. That would make it easier. Oh, they've got friends. Wow. Well, again, internal, I'm sure. But their numbers do not matter to me. All right, Mordor, you're still not fighting Gondor. Mordor, you have like no one on your side. Yeah, it looks like the other factions might have broken off. They were tired of them. They said, hey, screw you, Sauron. You can't bully me anymore. Isengard is still around, too. It would be interesting to actually eradicate his lands, then get him to work for me, too. Then I would need what? The Blue Wizards? Yeah. Oh, you're independent. Good for you. I don't really care. Yeah, I don't really have to worry about the Border Gore too much to the east, especially if I set them free. Dell, I would probably want to hold on to... But I'm not really too sure. I'll have to think about it. Either way, though, if we look at it at the moment, we've got a lot of help. Look at that buffer. Oh, yeah. We don't have to worry about enemies crossing through anymore. Alignment. Excuse me. Excuse me. That should not be evil. Gimli, you know better. You better not be evil, Gimli. We're going to have to have a conversation if we are having to contend with that. Ooh, they have a trade route. Where's mine? I want my Dwarven trade routes. All right, let's see. Homelands. Yeah, we know all about ours. Over to the east. Oh, there's a pocket down here. Oh, that's old school, man. That's a long time ago. Yeah, we could get down here if we wanted to. Not that we really want to, but let's get ready for our final wars. Because pretty soon we're going after Mordor. Okay, things got a bit out of hand. I did kind of harken back to the old nature of Metamalkin, which means he's going to conquer a lot of stuff. Also, we were finally afflicted with that curse. We're now wearing glasses. I'm not sure if it's a mod issue, a bug, or what. But we have it now, too. What a shame. My wife does not approve, evidently. Conquering everything else over here was not difficult. Obviously not. We also got an innovation that's been helping us out, too. Where is it at? Over here. Rightful ownership. I'm able to press multiple claims for another character in a single war. That makes a big difference. Unfortunately, one person did pass on. Aragorn. He died of old age. Only 224 years old. His boy over here is widowed. Very sad. He's okay at fighting, probably due to... Oh yeah. And Daryl, The crown of Gondor. Oh my god. He's got so much. I kind of wanted. I don't like the way he looks. Do I want to save him? Not really. Meta Malkin owes no debt to the men of Gondor. They have not helped us out, no. I could do something about that. I've got someone who could use a few claims. Yeah, let's come back down over here. Hold on, hold on, where is it? Your claims. Ah, I don't want you to become an emperor, but you do have many claims. 
79 years old, a child of his father, of course. All right, a grandson of Aragorn. And we're going to give him some new territory under my thumb. Let's do that. Oh, that's a lot of my prestige. But that's okay. I've got a lot here. I've got so much. I'll be able to do that. So now we're fighting Gondor, who's also fighting Mordor. And it looks like they're beating Mordor. That's fine. But let's quickly go after their lands. Oh boy, Madam Malkin. Here we go, conquering again. If our battles were big before, what are they going to be like now? Okay, we're going to move into Ithilien. We only need to conquer a few adjacent areas. I've got vassals for days. The only ones I'm going to maintain as protectorates would be Lothlorien. And over here, the land of the Moriquindi. The elves get to be free. Everyone else? Eh, never mind. And I was going to let them go. I did not mention that. However, that's what I want to do. What would Madame Malkin want to do? He would want to, of course, maintain peace by power. That's what he does best. He's very good at it. All right. The men of Gondor, they're busy fighting Mordor, which means we get a great chance to potentially end our war quickly. So let's do that, though. I've got to conquer a few adjacent areas. I can't just move down here. If I do that, well, I actually won't lose a lot, so forget about it. We'll go in. All right, so besieging is actually taking a bit. Here comes a major army. Let's beat them, then maybe wait here. 24,000 soldiers. Oh my god. Here we go. We've got a lot, too. But I think we're going to be okay. I'm hoping we're going to be okay. Overall, we deal a lot more damage. If you look at my Elk Riders, over 600 damage. My Archers, over 600 damage. I mean, all together, we kill everyone. Wait, why do you have a few Orcs on your side? What is going on? I don't like that. Alright, so we beat them there. Let's continue to move down. We're not quite at their capital yet. I'm still trying to get there. They're having to retreat. I've got my forces here. And how many did we kill anyway? Oh dear god, not a lot. I was hoping for a slaughter, but we didn't get that. Oh yeah, look at their warriors. 55, a sea lord of Lebanon. We've got, let's see, Landon over here, 51 prowess. A lot of old names. <laughs> the glasses are killing me, especially for him and that facial hair. Incredible. All right. We're only able to beat them now, I think, because of what we've done. Let's go after another area. Well, hold on, hold on. Don't retake things from me. I don't like that. Don't do that. They've got orcs on their side. Well, then I feel pretty good about going after them. All right, we'll continue to beat them. They lost all but nine. 23,888 slaughtered. My archers killed over what? Over 3,000. Swordsmen over 1,200. Knights over 2,200. If Aragorn was still alive, then I wouldn't attack Gondor, but he's not. So we're going to take care of it on our own. I don't know what my enemies are going to be able to do. I mean, Mordor was losing already. We can't besiege that little pocket. Okay, let's go down again. We'll continue to take over what we can. They'll probably have another army back eventually. Let's take that location. Thank you, Elven Cannons. Okay, we're getting closer to their capital. Don't worry, I'm going to get the White City back too. I mean, they have failed when it comes to that goal for many, many years now. Then again, they were going to win that war. It was only after Aragorn lost. Okay, let's have a look. Oh my god. Look at what we've gained. Not all of it, but a lot for sure. I could get a few more claimants and press on, but we've got many independent leaders around. Rittermark. Yeah, you've only got... Oh, hello. Yeah, I could probably find a few people who have claims on your lands, too. I wonder if we should conquer everything around us. I don't know. I'll think about it. All right, men of Gondor, you're free. Dol Imroth, that belongs to me, too. What about you? Could I take over what you have? Okay, a duchy title. I can't make you into a vassal. What a shame. I can conquer chunks. Parts of it. Good God, he's got a lot of soldiers too. Good for him. Two allies. Gotcha. 
Well, I'll think about it later. For now, though, what about Sauron? We could take a break and fight all of them later on. He's fighting two wars at the moment. They're not losing a lot of soldiers, but... Oh, yeah, over here. Man, what a bunch of crazy wars. Hold on. Oh, my God. More ghoul. They come to fight me? Okay, hold on, hold on. I'll take care of it. Let me get my forces together. Whoa, hold on. Who's over here? Dominion of Mordor. Okay. Who are you? You want to fight me? All right. A holy war for the kingdom. Okay. Let me get my soldiers together. Got them together. Let's go back into battle. Oops. Killed everyone. My bad. 15 survivors. I mean, we know what's happening. We don't even need to pursue their army. We don't even have to do that. Why? <laughs> we just kill them all immediately. The main phase. We kill them before they can even flee. We don't have to shoot them in the back pretty much ever. That's got to be terrifying. Another battle won after that. Another slaughter. Okay, yeah, we can't lose. They would have to assassinate us, but that likely wouldn't happen. That wouldn't likely happen, rather. All right. We took that. Now we're just going to besiege everything around us. You want to get spicy with me? Okay. No, it's fine. Get spicy. I'll come beat all of your armies for fun, for a hobby. Like that, yeah. Okay. Let's do that. We beat them again. I don't have to worry about Mordor, do I? Well, I'll need to retake some lands, of course. That'll come in time. So what I might do for the moment, I might continue to look for a few claimants. I've got all the money I need to get them over here. I could easily seduce people over here. A high lordship, okay. You could become my protectorate, but I would rather you become my vassal. You wouldn't do that, are you sure? Oh, because he's a sea lord. Oh, very fancy, all right. Well, I want to have some continuity to our land. Of course, we're divided by Mordor, but we'll get to that very, very soon. Dear God, look at the powers over here. You're going after who? Anaphilas? There's infighting already. That's incredible. We have broken up Gondor completely. <laughs> I suppose the elves never had to leave Middle-earth. They could have stayed here. They could have made a difference. Madam Malkin proves that cause. So we took over a few more areas. All I had to do for the Sea Lord, I had to press a few claims to conquer a bit of his land. After that truce, I was able to fight another war against him to force him to become a vassal. So now, we've got his territory. For Rohan, I used a decision to invite claimants over. Unfortunately, the one I got wasn't very good, but it doesn't really matter. She's 108 years old, infirm. She's only got one heir, a daughter, who's also infirm, depressed, and blind. Rohan is not doing well, but now I've got, I believe, five Empire titles. It's time. We're going after Mordor, who was able to win a few wars in quick succession. Good for them. But... I could press for lands, or I could break them apart. Let's do that. For fun. A clash of two empires. Ooh, scary. A state of total war now exists between the High Kingdom of Eren Lasgalen and the Dominion of Mordor. We've got massive scale troop movements. <laughs> oh boy, call the banners. Alright, so we're going to get everyone together. Then... We're going to the Black Gate, probably. All right, everyone, let's go. I'm going to call upon my Holy Order. I should definitely do that. The Grand Mistress. All right. Come on down, Sentinels. Your turn to join me. We'll have a look in a bit at the troop numbers. They've got to be insane, I would imagine. Wait, how many? Excuse me? We've got over 200,000. They've got nearly 300,000 on their side. Oh, my God. All right. Well, we're here. The Black Gate. Guess what? All you needed was a bunch of cannons. Who knew? I didn't. Not me. All right. They're going to eat up my supplies, so we've got to watch out for that. I'll continue to move in. Oh, hold on. What am I missing? I'm missing one part. Gotcha. Well, that's all right. I'll take it right now. We've got that, too. Oh, they're down here. Okay. That's where I need to move. I'll also move down over there. I've got to take my time. I don't want everyone to follow me. I wonder if I could tell them not to. That would be nice. Vassals to arms. Oh boy. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, I've never looked at that, but now I know how that works. A bunch of options for that mod. Whoa. We're moving. We're moving quickly. I might even need to disband here and there, only because if I don't do that, my god, over 124,000, then we're going to lose our supplies, which we don't want. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're fighting the Witch King. If only Sauron was able to find the One Ring. I was hoping to find him personally. I was hoping to challenge him to a duel, even. Look at the casualties. Oh, no. Oh, Gimli's in command. Okay. We've got horse archers. Greenwood swordsmen. Light horsemen everywhere. Wait, was cursed? Excuse me? You can get cursed? Oh, my God. Look at that. I didn't know that. That's really cool, but tragic. Wait, what about my elves? Could they be cursed? I mean, I don't see why not. That's terrifying. Okay, so I've got a new fear to worry about. Let's go after a few more armies. We beat one of them. Here's another one. I've got to be careful. I'm scared that I might even crash because of all the different forces. Okay, the scale of our current war is insane. I might need to move away from the uh, bigger view just because if I don't do that. <laughs> It's going to be hard to keep track. All right. Now we're fighting our major battles. I can hear the sound just cut out. That's how insane it is right now. What type of, I don't know, futuristic PC would I need to simulate a battle like that with a bunch of models? 200,000 fighting on the field all at once? I don't know about that. All right. Let's beat them again and again. We did it. We're beating them, which is awesome. I've got supplies, which is also very good. Let's go after Minas Morgul. We took over some bits of land. Awesome. We're now moving in. Look at how many they lost. 34,000. Okay, my archers alone killed 8,327. My knights, 5,517. Tarion, 102. Gandalf, 100. They've got a lot of great fighters, too. All right, let's see. We're killing a lot. That's good. What about wounded? I wonder if being cursed would be under here. I don't know. Ooh. All right. Let's go back. They're going to come for me. They want to. They'll try to. How many troops now? Our numbers have gone down big time. Holy crap. They've got 52 allies. I've got 39. The war goes on. There can be no peace. There's only fighting. We're fighting another Nazgul. Oh man, we lost a knight in that battle. Gimli's still taking command. And there are multiple battles being waged. Another war from who? Excuse me? I'm very busy right now, you idiot. All right, you're over here somewhere attacking what? That's why I probably don't want to take over the lands down here. I could give you money right now, but I'm going to go kill you because you've angered me. Don't worry. I'll fight two wars. I don't care. I'll do it. We took over another area. The battles are still going on. The casualties are mounting. We're losing a lot, which is a bit unnerving. I don't like that. I would like to go back over to the Black Gate to, of course, keep them from being able to retake it. Let's move up quickly. Oh, my God. Ugh. Okay. Back in we go. Excuse me? Who are you? An infirm dwarf? Huh. Kadan the short. Well, if you're in charge, I'm in luck. Wait, you're fighting my my own dwarf, Gimli. Ha ha ha, mine wins. He's a deadly sprinter. All right. Everything was to build up to our current moment, to where we're at right now. The entire campaign to our current war. And it is as glorious as I thought it would be. In fact, it really exceeds my expectations. Oh, yeah. Let's go back down. We've got to keep on just bouncing around until we beat them. I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do about a few capitals. I'm trying to take what I can. They're beating a few of my armies, unfortunately. I'm going to jump in quickly like that. Beat them again. We need another great slaughter if we want to win, I think. All right, so we beat them there. I would like to move after, if I can, the White City. That would be nice. We've got Osgiliath. What about the White City proper? Let's grab that real fast because we do want that. Let's end the siege quickly. Cannons again are very effective. We're at 59%. We're not there yet. It looks like so far we're doing well. Our numbers are going back up. 
That wild army I'll have to get later, but we've broken them a little bit, just a little bit. We're catching a few armies. It looks like now they're struggling to maintain their pace. Sweet. Okay, the numbers, I won't have to worry about that for now. Let's hunt down all that we can. I could move a bit slower, but maybe I shouldn't do that. Otherwise, our current war would probably take a full day. Just me having to swat everything. But we are slowly getting there. We are slowly beating them. It's all about just defeating their armies until they finally capitulate. Then, of course, it's all over for them. We've got a lot of forces close by. We'll want to move down over here. I was hoping to take over some more lands, which I did. There's another major battle at that. And if we look at it, we are losing a few. I mean, look at my archers. Keep in mind, what we're losing are levies and humans. For the elves, our casualties are minimal. Nearly 10,000 killed in that battle. For our knights, for every battle, we're killing their knights a lot more. I don't know. I'll have to check on that curse later. But like what? Black Breath? Another 26,000 over here. Let's see. Pelinor. A slaughter. Thank you, Gimli. That was good. So for every single battle, they're losing more and more. The Nazgul were caught. Man, 92 prowess. Still more powerful than I am. A master sorcerer at that. And a great military commander. Probably a good thing I did prep up. I don't know how the war would be waged otherwise. All right, let's go down. We'll take over a few more areas. Maybe catch their other armies. I'm trying to keep them away from us. We're at 87%. The wild men, they shouldn't be able to beat us before I get to them. I hope not. That would be terrifying to me. All right. Gondor, you've got plenty of soldiers. We're pushing our enemies apart. And it's over. You know what? For fun, let's fight one more battle. Watch that be the battle where I lose someone dear to me. No. We should be okay. Let's go back. <laughs> All right. One more to go. We got them. Good job. You maimed a guy. You're not cursed. We charged in. The battles have been fought. We're fighting raiders. Risen Carrion. The guard of Abrakan, crossbowmen, javelineers, the orc rabble, numbering in, wow, the thousands. But we did it anyway, as we always do. We did it again. They have been defeated. One final battle to end it all. Very nice work. We've got our whole force over here. They're holding on for a minute. Let's have a look then. Hey, you're done for. Let's go back. Right, you're dead. Here we go. Over 58,000 killed. If I could keep track of all the kills we got, like some type of stat screen, like what hero killed the most. Oh, that would be really cool to see at the very end of every campaign, just a bunch of very specific stats like that. I would love that. But look at how many have been killed. We've been training for a long time, over 100 years. And... The fall of an empire. The encampment of Baradur has been completely shattered and has descended into a period of total anarchy. All that remains are weak, scattered tribal-like warlords fighting over what remains of their once great empire. And our dynasty is known far and wide. <laughs> oh, he's very sad. How tragic. We got him. Where is he now? Oh. He's got two counties, two little baby counties. You know what? Take them. But look at that mess, the gore. I wonder how that would even look over time. That's why part of me wanted to go after Anorian first, then over here after Ithilien. I'll probably spend a few years cleaning that up just because I should. All right, what about that other army? Where are you idiots at? Okay, so you're over there bothering us in Rohan. Let's go say hi to them. I mean, I fought a very long war. I'm done with all of them. I don't want to be bothered. We need a good break after all of that. Okay, long reach, magistrates. There's a lot we don't need anymore. Huh. Cultural acceptance, us? Maybe, yeah, we could do that, I suppose. Hold on now. New leaders, huh? I'm just really curious as to what's gonna happen over here. For me to conquer all these independent little powers, it'll be tedious, but I could do that in like a few years, at the very most, really. All right, let's go down and take out the wild men. Again, easy. Let's clean up. 
but we finally beat Sauron. That was good. We're gonna have a little look around. A few of you made council characters and they're still around too. Here's one, he's got an eye patch, very fancy. He's been a Baron for a long, long time. Therian, yeah, he's been able to thrive as well. A great Northern Overlord. Who else do we have? Lenmir, who actually went away. I don't know why. I don't know what happened to his titles. Maybe someone kicked him out. I thought maybe he went overseas, but I could get him back eventually, I should. Or maybe he wants to wander, I don't know. Elros, you killed a mighty, mighty leader of the Moriquindi, but it wasn't on purpose. He's also doing fine. Dear God, he's got a lot of skills. Then again, it's been, what, 174 years? Absolutely incredible. After that, we've got, let's see, the wife of Fingolfin. Yeah, she's been fine. She's not done too much, at least when it comes to military capacity, but she's done very well. She advised us. She married Fingolfin, which was her goal. I didn't know that would happen, but it did happen. Tarbeth, you're up north, and you've not been married. You've not done too much. Well, really, they've all done a lot. It's really that we've conquered all that we needed to. Then we just had to move on beyond that. With my great military, we weren't going to lose. Thoriel, oh, you were kicked out. Okay. Maybe Gandalf said, not today. You shall not pass. Get out of here. Who else do we have? Let's see. Thala. Thala, you're still ruling. Okay, you've got your kingdom title and a duchy title. Or maybe you kicked her out. I don't know. We've got... Gimli, who's alive, I gave him Mount Gundabad. He's got it. He's done it. Look at that. It's called Gundazbad. It's a very good location to have, and he's got it. Radagast. I did think about conquering Isengard, then giving him Isengard. Oh, that would tick Saruman off so much. Imagine those two meeting. Like, imagine the depiction of Radagast in The Hobbit then having that character meet Saruman. Oh dear. What a funny image. The Nazgul, they're probably all wandering. Insane villain. Yeah, no kidding. He's a eunuch. Okay, so his Nazgulian was ripped off. Oh boy. Possessed? Blind? All right. Well, have fun traveling around. You're not in my territory. Who would become a dominant power here? I know the Witch King is around here somewhere. There he is. Yeah. We could hunt him down, but forget about it. We got him. We did it. All right. So after doing that, we've had a great campaign. Let me know what future campaigns you would like to see. Madam Malkin once again did it. He could conquer the rest of the map. It would only be a matter of time, but we don't need to do that again because we've got time for future campaigns and stories. Anyway, I hope that you did enjoy this story. And if you have any questions or if you would like for me to go into detail about future things and future campaigns once we're at the very end, let me know. Like if you want a time lapse or what you really want me to focus on. Because I want that ending to also feel gratifying. Alright everyone, leave a like and comment right down below what you would like to see in the future. And any structured ideas, that will help me a lot too. As always, until then.